In this tutorial, we're going to add an SSL certificate to the blog that we built previously because you need to have an SSL these days. It's a search engine ranking factor and it provides more trust to people visiting your site. Right now, the SSL is turned off for this site and it says up here, not secure. So people who are visiting, even if they're not trying to buy anything, they will see this message in their browser and they'll say, oh, not secure. That kind of scares me. I don't want to be on an insecure site. I want to leave and go somewhere that's secure. So even if you're not selling anything, you still need an SSL. In the past, you only had to have an SSL on your site if you were selling something. If you're processing credit cards right on your site, you needed an SSL. Now, everybody needs it. This site right here is one of my older demo sites. It's hosted currently on InMotion. I haven't moved it yet to SiteGround. SiteGround is where I host pretty much everything now, but I haven't moved this one yet. And I'm going to show you how to get an SSL certificate in InMotion and after that in SiteGround, which is where I recommend that you host and where you get your SSL. Both of these hosting platforms provide free SSLs if you request them, which is a requirement these days. You can still pay for SSLs, but why would you when you can get them for free? So find a host where you can get it for free. InMotion hosting and SiteGround both do. I recommend SiteGround. There's a link in the description down below where I link to my blog post that shows you all the reasons why I choose SiteGround. So if you're on the fence or you want to know more about it, check out that tutorial down below. In InMotion, this is what their cPanel looks like. What we want to look for in here is SSL. Just using Control F or Command F to get this little search box. I search for SSL and we want to go to SSL slash TLS. And in here, we want to click on Install and Manage SSL for your site. Click on that. As we can see, we already have SSLs in place for this site. I just said they were turned off earlier, which means I'm not actually using the secure URL, which I'll show you how to do in a few minutes. But to request an SSL, all you have to do is go to the domain dropdown. You select the domain, whatever it is, domains and subdomains if you want, or you get a wildcard that will cover your domain and all the subdomains. You choose the main domain. You click on autofill by domain. It puts in an SSL here for you. Then you click on install certificate at the bottom and then you wait a certain amount of time. I think it's a couple hours and then your SSL will be applied to your site. It's as easy as that. And that's in motion hosting. SiteGround is even easier. If we go to the SiteGround cPanel, which is right here, there's also an SSL TLS manager here, but we don't go to that one. We go to Let's Encrypt. And this here is a list of all the sites on this particular hosting account with SiteGround that have SSLs already, which is all of them that are on here. You just pick your domain from the dropdown, whatever it may be. You choose either Let's Encrypt SSL or Let's Encrypt Wildcard SSL. The wildcard is for subdomains. So if you have subdomains on your site and you want them to have an SSL, you need the wildcard one. For example, a subdomain is what you see here, speedtest.wpspeedify.com. www.wpspeedify.com is technically also a subdomain, but that's the main domain. That's like the main website. So that's what this covers. This covers the www.yourdomainname.com or just plain yourdomainname.com. Anything else before the dot, like speedtest in this example, is a subdomain and you need a wildcard to cover those if you want to. So all you have to do is choose your options, then click on install. There'll be another row added to this table up here and it'll show inactive or processing or something. And then once it's ready, it will show active here. And SiteGround I found is faster than most other hosts with SSLs and lots of other stuff as well. So this may take only five minutes, 10 minutes. Sometimes it takes longer, but usually it's quite quick. Either way, just wait till your SSL is installed and then you can go ahead and go to your site and type in HTTPS up here, and then boom, you get the padlock and your site is secure. You can also do that in the back end of the site. When you do it in the back end, you'll have to log in again. Not this time, but sometimes you do have to log in again. There's a few more steps you have to do to make this permanent, because right now I can switch back and forth. I can take the S out of the domain, and we are back to not secure. Put the S back in. If I can click here and do that and we're secure again. And you don't want to be able to flip-flop like that. So the first thing you do is you go to settings, general, and enter an S in here for the WordPress address and site address to make sure those are secure. Go down to the bottom, click on save. Now we sign in again. And now the site will default to HTTPS, which is what we want. But there are times where you'll have a padlock I think the padlock is open or the padlock's a different color sometimes, which means there's an SSL applied to your site, but there are elements that are loading not secured. So if we go into the source code 
and we look up HTTP colon forward slash forward slash. This is a not secured, oops. This is a not secure link right here. And if things in like your header, for example, like say this file, let's find one, find a CSS file, here's a CSS file. If this CSS file is loading without the S, as in it's loading insecure, then you'll have the padlock that's not closed or the different color padlock, which means you have an SSL applied, but not everything is loading securely. And the way you fix that is you update any link references in the source files that link to things that are not secure. That's really painful. It's easier to use a simple redirect. There's a simple plugin for that called Really Simple SSL. I have a tutorial dedicated to that plugin right up here in the card and the description down below. So check out that plugin because all you do is install it and hit go and then it will automatically change all the URLs to be loaded securely. And then you don't have to worry about having the padlocks that aren't completely closed. And next up, I think you should watch the whole playlist that this video is a part of. It's linked to up here. And I basically walk you through building a simple blog like we have here and all the steps you need to do is to turn that blog into a valid website that you can start collecting leads from, as in opt-ins, and start making sales from, and turn it into an online business. That's what this tutorial series is about. The whole playlist is right here, so check that out. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Until next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.